It is with great joy that I return here today. I'm Ashta Sharon. Some of you have spotted my ship. I'm still here, over a good part of the South American continent. My presence is necessary, here at this moment, because of the great changes that are happening across your planet. We are having a lot of work, with many pieces of meteors, that your planet is crossing. No, it's not a meteor invasion, nor is it anything on purpose. Every galaxy is moving and your planet is moving too. And this movement makes you enter extremely difficult positions in the universe. But we are making sure that nothing goes beyond our care. We have many missions around your planet. Freeing them was the main mission. And today we can say that there is no way to go back on this entire process. The most the Cabal can still achieve is delay. And unfortunately, it still converts a good part of its population. We are doing everything possible and impossible to not allow this. But always and in any situation, we need to respect the free will of each one of you. So, many times, you are induced by them to do a lot of things. And if this happens it is because you allowed it. When we talk to many, who let themselves be carried away by them, they become even angrier because they do not admit that they are opening the door to the enemy. But I would say to each one of you, who is questioning me right now, to take a very good look at your vibration, look very carefully at what you are emanating. You don't have to be evil people or do evil to attract them. It is enough for you to lose your defenses, for you to vibrate low-caliber feelings. This is enough for them to realize that there is a breach in their defense, and that is where they take advantage. Right now, there is an enemy around every corner. They lost the vast majority of their army, they are weak and alone. But they don't give up easily. They're the type that. If I'm going to die, I'm not going to take just one with me, I'm going to take many. As you have some examples, who practice this on your planet, have always been induced by them. So. It's worth always reminding yourself that any feeling you have that lowers your vibrations is extremely dangerous. What I'm saying here, for many, may seem like fear, generating fear. But I must remind each one of you that we are at war, we are not in a good period. And as I said a moment ago, the enemy is lurking around the corner. So, you always have to be very vigilant your feelings, your actions, your thoughts, and your words. Many of you are lonely in the environment in which you live, and there is nothing easier than inducing those around you, and who are dear to you, to lead you into error, into imbalance. So, even inside your homes, you may have this type of problem. So all I advise is simply not to listen. Don't get into their energy, leave the place and leave. The less you listen, the less you get hurt. So just don't listen. You are not obliged to listen to insults and insults. So just isolate yourself and let them talk to themselves. We are reaching the end of the battle. We are reaching the final stretch for the new era. A lot will happen until this day arrives. And every day, those who don't resonate with any of this will become more lost and more angry. So the advice is that you always stay away, as far away as possible from all this. Don't try to convince anyone. This moment is over, there is no point anymore. They will have to understand the pain, the suffering. What they will see, and not understand, will be difficult for them. So they will have to deal with all this, not you. You have passed these phases a long time ago. So when they revolt, Rebel, just stay away, take care of your safety. It will not be an easy time for your planet, as the truths are extremely painful, and many will not accept it, many will not believe, and many will revolt. So you have to be very protected. And the more you vibrate high and keep all the beings of light around you, nothing will reach you. Now if you emanate fear and want to get in the middle of the mess, to try to help, you will be exposed and very exposed. So just isolate yourself from the world. When someone asks you something. No, 
I don't want to talk about it. And any kind of jokes or joking things you hear, ignore them. You are much superior to them, and this is how you have to behave. Never try to get into an argument, thinking you will be victorious, because you won't. So simply isolate yourself as much as you can. This is a time for you to become within yourself. Seeking all sorts of strength and help. And this help cannot come from a brother. This help will come from above, for each one of you. Do not rely on anyone physical, only rely on those who are around you, protecting you. If you trust them, nothing will happen to you. As commander of all this action, I am extremely satisfied with the result we have achieved so far. We rarely had to retreat, and we continued to advance further and further. The battle is not over yet, because in the same way that there are incarnated beings of ours, on the surface of your planet, they also have. And these incarnates are acting as much as they can, to manipulate people. And against these, we can do nothing for now. But everything will come to light, all the truths will come to light. And you will notice that after a time of much revolt, of much aggression, of much anger, they will become very humble, because you will understand that you were right. Then there will be a moment, when you, yes, will be able to lift each one of them and help them even more, to understand everything. But only, at this moment. When there is total surrender to everything that is happening. Until this happens, do nothing. You are extremely targeted and those around you who can be used by you will be. It is very easy for them to contaminate a person, especially when that person does not believe in anything, you think this is all crazy so it can be easily manipulated. So don't play their game, stay alert and smart. We are all caring and observing everything that happens on your planet. We act when we can act. What we haven't done yet is because it would put the safety of the inhabitants of this planet at risk. So we have to be very cautious. We don't need you to believe what we've already done, believe whoever wants to. But today you can be sure that there is nothing stopping the highlights of the fifth and other higher dimensions from reaching this planet. You are receiving light directly from the son of Alcyon. No more shields, nothing stops that anymore. So for those, who are fully integrated into this movement, live every moment. Write down every important moment you go through, because after a while, you will be able to return to those memories and see exactly how powerful you were, how much you influenced this entire process. So just be what you are, pillars of light. And know how to turn on your lights at the right time.